Welcome to my next series of videos that I'm going to be doing. In this time, I'm going to be focusing on the Graubner flight controllers. Graubner has ESCs and then the flight controllers that plug on top of those so you can build up your, your own quad to fly it. And in addition to that, you can actually con connect a GPS to the flight controller as well and then set up waypoints and fly around that way um, like you would with a, say, a DJI for instance. And uh, in this series of videos, I'm gonna go through all the steps right away from building it to, to actually flying it and setting up, setting up some uh, waypoints so that we can see how that works out for us. Anyway, um, so the first thing I did here is I just appropriated an old frame I had, second hand one I picked up, a used one I should say, pre-owned if you want. And uh, I connected up my 4Y30 amp Graubner S3088 controller. So that's a uh, four ESCs in there. And that replaced a whole list that was on my original. Uh, if you don't recognize the frame, it's a uh, Alpha 250Q that I stripped down to the bare bones and I'm gonna be using it. So these are all this ESCs that you just saw that I yanked off of that and uh, replaced it with this really nice compact ESC board that we have here. So uh, again, figure out which side is front and which is back. In my case, the front is on this side. So motor one, two, three on here, and then four in the back here. And uh, because of the way that I wanted to mount my board, it meant I needed to put my wiring a little bit different. You might have a different frame and have a better way of mounting it or routing your wires. See, if I uh, was able to mount my board with uh, the connector facing backwards, that would have been better, but uh, it, it just didn't make sense for me to, to wire it that way or to mount it that way on this frame. It would make it really difficult to get to the, to the power connector in the back since there is an actual frame that goes on top of this. I found this way to best to do it. Yeah, I had to do a little bit of dremeling right here to, to actually make that connector fit in the way it is anyway. That's all there is to it. Um, these uh, little LEDs, ignore them uh, for the moment. They are just there as a as an easy way to mount my wires up to the motors. Since this, uh, this frame actually has LEDs in the front, you can't see them front and back. They're mounted underneath there. Actually, I could probably flip this over and show you a little bit. So there is the wiring in the back of this thing to to drive all of that. So, well, you know, when I had it set up, it worked great. Now, of course, not so much. With my uh, ESC mounted and, and connected up, I can now go ahead and mount in my actual flight controller board. And that is the this tiny little thing you see here. And what's really nice about it actually has on it um, not only a receiver as you can see I have an antenna here and it's a full range receiver but it also has some outputs for uh, for RGB LEDs if you want to drive that and uh, also has the connector for the GPS so uh, we'll be connecting up the GPS to that port over there in uh, in a short time period and once I put the whole frame together I show you what that looks like. Anyway, so that's uh that'll screw right on top of there. I'm gonna go and do that. I'm gonna bore you putting screws on and I'll be right back. Okay, now that we have the flight control controller mounted, you obviously want to make sure um, your motors turn the correct directions as expected. <laughs> Unfortunately you can't test that without the flight controller board on so the first time you mount the board, you probably only want to put two of those nuts on. And note, I'm using metal here because there is good insulation. The, the board actually comes with nice little rubber grommets to insulate the board out. It is an important point though, since I'm using carbon fiber, you want to make sure that no part of this board, these, both the ESC board and the flight controller makes contact with the carbon fiber because carbon fiber is conductive. So make sure you put the rubber grommets that they provide with the, the boards in between. Uh, so you have that spaces in there. Anyway, so the first time you probably just want to put a couple of those nuts on, power it up, 
bind your receiver and, and, and the way that this receiver binds is when you turn it on the first time it'll uh, you can bind it with your radio I use AMZ32 um, but if you already had it bound and you want to bound it to a new new copter or a new uh, model um, you got to wait like 15 seconds before the LED that's on the flight controller comes on and uh, you can then bind it, it well that LED starts flashing and then you can bind it to your radio there is no button to post or anything of that. It's just you got to wait that 15 seconds before it goes into auto bind mode if it doesn't see a radio. So for that reason, when you do have it bind, make sure that you turn your radio on as you really should before you turn your quadcopter on. Um, so that's the flight controller hooked up. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of the frame and also hook up the GPS. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, I have... Uh... Now I've got my GPS connected up as well. As you can see, it comes, the GPS comes with some standoffs, uh, some handy standoffs. And I've used that. I've uh, drilled some custom holes into my board since I didn't have holes specifically spaced for this. But the important part to note here is that the arrow pointing towards the front of your helicopter. You can see uh, the connector cable that comes with the GPS is used and it's plugged into my board, which is going to be really difficult to see even with the light I have here. Um, it's connected over there. It comes also with this little connector here that I will just mount underneath here with some, uh, some double-sided tape. And the whole purpose of this cable is to program your flight controller. So it's not actually used for the GPS, but for the flight controller. So we'll set up the flight controller with the right firmware. Um, so we'll just move that out of the way, but easy to get to. All right, so that's all there is to, to mounting this on your quadcopter. We'll go into my next video here, and I'll link it in the description below. And that'll go into the actual configuration of the flight controller.